Okay guys, so I'm at the Royal Hotel in Scarborough. Let's go and have a look around, eh? Really grand entrance, double doors. I'm gonna be blown away here. Super grand. Really, really good. So I'll show you how we've got a bar and restaurant. This is the Sea View restaurant and bar. A bit of a stage here. You can't see it at the minute because it's dark, but it's all Sea View straight outside here. And this is the really grand restaurant. All set out, ready for tonight. I'm very impressed with this place. Some very nice chairs, very grand, and it's very comfortable. So much to explore here. Let's have a look. There's another bar here. Really, really grand. We've gone to town with the decorations as well, they look really good. There's also another bar through here. A theatre bar. It's not currently open. I will show you anyway. This is what you get. Really, really nice. Yeah, brass bar. Look at that. All the cushions, all the tea lines even going. I can imagine this being open later tonight. Very good. Let's have a look through. So I believe there's been a, a grotto here, but this is the way to the ballroom. So how magical this must have been for the kids to come. And uh, Santa was just in here. It's like a meet and greet. But this is the way to the ballroom. So got a grand piano there. Thing is part of the ballroom, which is reserved for private functions and entertainment. Okay, nice. That actually looks. There's mirrors on the wall, so it all makes it bigger. It looks bigger anyway. And there's another bar here. And they currently got this area set up as like a cinema. We've got a Simpsons on. Really, really good. Is this the best Britannia hotel? I wonder. What do you guys think? I'll show you around some of the staircases and around the rooms. Really, really good quality. Back with the massive trees, it reminds me of the Home Alone movie, Lost in New York. So really, really good. Good decorations. And we've also got the nativity scene up there. Where shall we go? Uh, you can't take this grand staircase all the way up. So we're gonna have to get the lift at some point, but just so I can show you. And the grand staircase stops here and then it's just like a the standard. But this is the view. Chandeliers, gold leaf there. All the way to the ceiling. Very, very nice. Look at the style of the seating. 
these are actual paintings, these are not prints, these are paintings. You must have got these cheap because they're in every hotel. Um, every Britannia seems to have this colour at the minute. So they've bought quite a few. But what do you guys think? This is amazing. Really, really grand. third floor now we've got a modern lift and this is what you see so it's like a, a square that you walk around for the rooms let's just have a look around really expensive carpet you know this work cheap so they have sectioned it off so you can't get next to the uh, the railings are everywhere I look in this hotel this is definitely been uh, very extravagant it cost a lot of money at one point in time for a Britannia of 31 quid a night. It's brilliant. All the doors as well, they all have gold on them, gold paint. Really good. So, this hotel is also a swimming pool and sauna slash steam room and gym you do have to pay extra for that it's £4.50 for the day or £10 for all week well worth it in my opinion only negatives I can see are parking parking's not ok so I'm in room 303 tonight so let's have a look at what we get ok ok so I've just been in and put my bag in get the key in the wall Bit of a weird one. Not seen one of them before. Not like that anyway. Right, okay, so straight away, this is what you get. So this cost me £31 tonight. Absolute bargain. Massive double radiator. Straight walkway into the room. Okay, okay. It's quite small in here, but there's still plenty of room. Now I did book a single room. I don't think there is any single rooms at this hotel so they give you a double so that's a nice little tip there for you um, so happy days yeah it's quite quite presentable there's absolutely nothing wrong with the bed the furniture's relatively modern not sure why we've got a TV stand there but at this price I'm not really bothered there's a newish TV on the wall there that's good there's all the uh, extras that we normally get. Is the test kettle clean? I'd say it isn't. Ooh, lovely. Look at that, all that scum inside. That's not good. Well, I won't be using that to say. Yeah, I'm not going to use that one. So we got a random table here. I'm assuming it's where you can put your bag. That's what I've done with it. And this door must be an interconnecting door, but I'm not sure you're meant to use it if there's a TV in front of it. But, for what I've paid, I'm happy. Big bed, plenty of drawers. And there is also a weirdly placed wardrobe too. So let's see what's in the wardrobe. Is there anything? Okay, that's good. So we've got extra towels. We've got an iron. I haven't seen the iron in board, but we have got an iron. We've also got a fan here. Some beach themed painting on the wall and we've got the extra pillows now this time they are in a bag last few nights I've had them where they're not and that's an extra blanket there as well so that's good you've got enough hangers there for a full week easily but yeah this is what you get let's have a look at the bathroom so I can see they put new carpet in here all the hotels that I've stayed in put a new carpet everywhere so that's good yeah, so this is a bathroom. Very nice, very good quality. They took the extra time and made the toilet roll look nice, which is good. Not every cleaner does that, so it's definitely credit to the cleaners. This is a bathroom and shower. So you've got the free soap on the wall there, 
Again, we've got them stupid bath mats meant to make it non-slippy, non sorry, but they do anything but. So I'm just looking at the radiator, there's a bit of gaffer tape on it. I don't think that's the original design, but I think we'll just turn that one off for tonight. I don't need it. So I've got plenty of towels again. And the towels are actually hung up this time, so that's good. They're not on the bed like they usually are. Now, there's a few things you, you notice that are not up to standard, but at this price point, are you really bothered? And that's this mirror. This mirror's gone rusty. And there's some random marks on the back there. But we have got a shaver socket, again, rusty. So I don't think I'll be trusting myself to use that. We've got the usual Britannia soaps that I said you get. It's good that they give you these because not all, all hotels even bother to give you soap. But yeah, overall, this room is not bad for the money. There's plenty, plenty of uh, space in here, even though it is compact. Absolutely perfect. I wouldn't have any problems staying in this room.